What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Now admittedly, Marvel Studios has been going through a ton of public facing drama surrounding a lot of their projects, but still maybe the worst of it was surrounding Blade, where now on its fifth rewrite, and when the reporting was at its worst, was rumoring that Mahershala Ali was so disappointed with the script that he might walk away from the project. Now, recent updates have actually said the exact opposite. We'll talk about that during this video, but it's a lot different to hear this stuff in the rumor mill or read it in a Hollywood trade than when the actual top brass at Marvel like Kevin Feige or in this case the president of Disney Bob Iger are talking about it and head on and this latest quote led to the most rampant of speculation over the last 24 hours when the Hollywood reporter published Bob Iger as saying this quote you have to kill things you no longer believe in and it's not that easy in this business because either you've gotten started or you have some sunk costs or it's a relationship either with your employees or the creative community it's not an easy thing but you've got to make those tough calls. We've actually made those tough calls. We've not been that public about it, but we've killed a few projects already that we just didn't feel were strong enough. Now again, in the 48 hour wake of those comments being published, tons of people speculated as to which films and TV shows that these were. Those lists and headlines included projects like Blade and Armor Wars TV shows like The Witch's Road Holiday Special and Iron Heart. But today, that's where we pick up with a brand new industry insider update talking about the state of all of the theatrical previously announced films for the multiverse saga films including armor wars and blade we're going to get into the latest update what's going on there and then try to separate fact from fiction and narrow down which couple of few projects Bob Iger was actually talking about when he was referring to Marvel cancellations. But first, I want to tell you guys about Brilliant, a free and easy place to start learning brand new skills interactively. Now, for me, guys, Brilliant.org has really become my go-to place for learning and for three key reasons. The first of which is the myriad of topics that I want access to. Things like data analytics that have helped me grow my channel here on YouTube, or things like computer science that helped fill in the gaps where I needed it for computer programming to help me build my website, or even math courses where I don't remember anything and now need to help my daughter with her math homework and that's my second point no matter what your skill level is in something you can tune these courses to exactly what you need and that's what's super helpful about again filling in the gaps or helping you acquire brand new skills from scratch for something you might want to do in the future and trust me guys they have everything like scientific thinking which takes you on an interactive tour of our physical world you get to engage with key scientific principles and theories from simple machines like gears and pulleys to Einstein's special theory of relativity and it lets you learn by doing with hands-on lessons that have you comparing circuits to understand voltage and current, playing snooker to learn the rules of collision, and even planning your itinerary for an intergalactic music festival on a space-time diagram and more. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash everything always. Again, that's brilliant.org forward slash everything always, or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Sign up today and put yourself on a path to acquiring new skills. Okay, so before we get into this latest update, and real quick, I just want to say this isn't a video to try to debunk anybody who speculated that they may actually cancel Armor Wars or maybe say Blade. While I think that it's always been highly unlikely, even before this update, I think people have their reasons, and that is not to debunk any of them. We'll have to wait and see what Marvel officially announces. But in the meantime, we're hearing from trusted industry insider source Charles Murphy, who has the editorial Murphy's Multiverse, someone we've confidently re reported on for years because of his proven track record. And in his most recent update breaking today, he indicated that none of the Marvel projects that have been officially announced as of now have been canceled at Marvel Studios. Those projects include Captain America 4, Thunderbolts, Fantastic Four, Blade, Armor Wars, and even Wonder Man for Disney+, Plus, as well as Avengers 5 and Avengers 6. And even though it wasn't specifically listed among that bunch, and if you take what Charles Murphy's saying at face value, that would also include Iron Art as it has been officially announced. I will also mention, and by all accounts and before this quote from Bob Iger, just weeks ago we heard from industry insider Daniel RPK that Mahershala Ali is actually very pleased with the present state of the script and that they'll get around to filming and production later this year. That was breaking literally as of two weeks ago we did a full report on that here at the channel so for those of you who were worried and no matter what the quiet cancellations are blade is not going to be among them now this doesn't preclude any of the projects we know marvel studios was already officially working on but never officially announced those are projects like for instance say vision quest we already know who was writing the project and so when bob Iger talks about the sunk costs or the relationships or even the creative communities a lot of that happens in the pre-production for a show and i think that's 
more what he was referring to as may sort of making it sound perilous and having to sort of, you know, it's not easy to fire people that you've worked with on other projects, which a lot of them who were involved with WandaVision were again involved with Vision Quest. So Vision Quest, the solo Wiccan show, the possible Wong Academy show that we know is in pre-development, Eyes of Wakanda, the animated Wakanda series. These are all among shows that were possibly being worked on already, but may have had the plug pulled. But for anything that's already been officially announced, Daredevil, Wonder Man, at least according to Charles Murphy, they're all still going to come out. But the timeline for this, see that's the thing that I think is most interesting because I would be totally shocked if Avengers 5 and Avengers 6 aren't at least delayed and for one more year, which would put Avengers Secret Wars coming out in May of 2028. And if that's true, there's a lot more space to fill up on the theatrical slate than just the movies they've got announced now. Now, if you guys had missed the announcement from a couple of days ago, we finally heard sort of officially that they're going to start production and filming on Shang-Chi 2 and in 2025. So I assume that'll be amongst a new slate whenever we get the announcement. And I suppose it's about time to do one of our every six month mock slate videos. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But in the meantime, you guys let me know all your thoughts down below. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. Okay, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s at the channel. The next one is at the end of this month to coincide with the finale of X-Men 97. So if you want to be entered to win or for any of the other future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. And as always, if you like today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. In the meantime, guys, if you ever get a comment from what looks like some spam account, remember that anybody can borrow a content creator's photo, claim to be that content creator. It's all a scam and a ruse to try to get you to pay for shipping for a prize that doesn't exist. They were targeting this channel uh, at the end of last year, or should I say 2022, and it's been a while, but unfortunately one of my friends is still dealing with this so friendly reminder if you should ever get a comment saying you've won something and for you to contact them on a third party app like telegram or whatsapp it's probably a scam never share your information on there it's not safe and of course never pay for shipping no content creator no one who ever tells you you've won a prize if you've actually won is going to charge you for shipping that's just not something that people do so if you should ever get a comment like that on youtube or instagram just make sure to report it to the respective platform because i promise you Content creator already knows and is doing everything they can about it as fast as they can, but the platform themselves, like YouTube, can delete the comment way quicker, and really you're doing everybody at the community a service, because not only is that comment deleted for you, but for every other account they've commented on. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around, we'll be posting again real, real soon.